Hey everyone, Victor here. A little backstory before we dive in. Dehancer reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out their plugin, Dehancer Pro. Dehancer Pro is a NoFX plugin that is uh, providing a toolkit for color grading and to give your footage a more authentic analog feel. And if you are interested in picking up the Hanson Pro for yourself, you can use my promo code VICTORBRUNO to get 10% off your purchase. All right, let's dive into the process of using the Hanson Pro in DaVinci Resolve. This is not gonna be an in-depth review or anything, just gonna be me sharing my findings and how I like to set up my workflow. This clip was recorded with a Sony a7 IV in S-Log3 and uh, it's in log right now. I'm going to create a node and add the answer to it. Right off the bat, there's a lot of information thrown in your face. And what I like to do is to start by closing all the tabs by holding the Alt key and click one of the tabs. This gives a better overview of all the modules. Then what I like to do is to scroll down to the last tab, Options, and click on Disable All Tools. Now we have a better starting point. With all that out of the way, there's a couple of ways to approach this. Let's head to the Input tab. Here we can choose what camera and format the footage was shot on. So the answer know what you're feeding it. And from there, start working with the footage and the modules. The method I prefer using is doing a color space transform to Cineon Filmlog before the Dehancer plugin. I get a better result this way and more control over the footage. Output color space should be Rec 709 and output gamma Cineon Filmlog. In Dehancer, we now change the input to Cineon Filmlog. This clip needs some white balance, so I do this on a node using the HDR wheels sandwiched between the CST node and the Dehancer node. Make sure you set the correct gamma setting in the HDR wheels. If you need to do big changes in the exposure, you can do this in this node too. When we are happy with the white balance and the exposure, we can start tweaking things in Dehancer. First off, we have the Film Profile tab. This is where the Hanser shines. Here you can choose from over 60 different film stocks, each with its own unique look. For this clip, I'm going with Kodak Aerocolor 4 125. In the Film Developer tab, I start with Color Boost and then some Contrast Boost. Film Compression. This module distributes the highlight information in the image to get a more analog look. I enable this and tend to just leave it as is. By fine tuning the black and white points in the expand module, you can shape the dynamic range of your image, giving it a more natural or filmic look that feels smooth and detailed across the tonal regions. The print module in the Hansen Pro is designed to emulate the look of photographic print processes, specifically the tonal, contrast and color characteristics found in traditional analog photo prints. In here we can choose from a couple of different print stocks. For this clip I'm going with Kodak 2383 print film. I also take the analog range limiter. The analog range limiter enhances the film emulation effect by keeping the image within the analog range, so to speak. Here I push the tonal contrast and color density. Color head tab. Here we can push around the color channels individually to create a look. I'm doing some changes to the shadows, midtones and highlights. Then I like to add film grain. 
Here you have some presets to choose from and a slider controlling the amount of grain added. I want to go in the costume menu to tweak it for a more subtle look. One last thing I want to do is add a vignette. Scroll down to the vignette tab and enable it. This effect looks so good right off the bat, so I just leave it as is. But of course you can tweak it to your liking. At this point I'm usually happy with the results. But if you want to further stylize your footage, there is halation, bloom, film damage, film breath, gate weave, and overscan. These tools let you really hone in that vintage nostalgic look, if that's what you're going for. Footage from the a7 IV is amazingly sharp, and that can be a good thing. But in this case, I want to make it a bit softer for a more filmic look. Let's create a new node before the Dehancer node, and add the Film Damage plugin that comes with DaVinci Resolve. Make sure you reset all the tabs first. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of film blur, 0.05 or so. This helps with the overly sharp image. You can add more nodes in between the CST Dehancer sandwich if you want to tweak the image further. Like the skin tones for instance. Add a node. And use the qualifier to isolate the skin tones. Maybe add a bit more magenta. Perfect. And here's the final image. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to use my promo code Victor Bruno to get 10% off when buying the answer. Goodbye.